What is going on everyone, this is Nero again, today for you, some Team Deathmatch gameplay, this time with one of the new 2v2 or 1v1 face-off maps, Erosion. This is an amazing map, and you know, okay, let's get this out of the way first and foremost, because I am kind of partial to this map. So if I were to rate uh, the four face-off maps, plus the new multiplayer map Oasis, if I were, you know, they all basically came out in the same bundle. If I were to rate them, you know, one through five, this would probably be my second, this would be my number two, right? No pun intended, this would be, <laughs> this would be my second favorite map of the new maps that have come out recently. I love this map, I love the way it plays, I love the way it looks. So where are we, where are we, what are we doing, where are we? So erosion, the, the description of it says, make your way through Mediterranean ruins and ancient aqueducts using leftover Roman masonry, 4,000 year old cover in this new face off map. So basically we're out in the Mediterranean, this is you know ancient Roman architecture we're looking at right now and it's gorgeous. We're, we're like at some kind of ruins in the jungle which kind of reminds me of uh, actually Black Ops which obviously Black Ops has nothing to do with Modern Warfare 3 but kind of reminds me of the Black Ops map Shangri-La how it's kind of like ruins out there in the middle of the jungle. This is kind of the, you know, the same situation where we're at right now. So it's a good map, it's a fast paced map although throughout this gameplay we're facing split screeners and these particular split screeners are like uh, butt buddying each other. Uh, that's 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 the phrase I give it when people butt buddy each other. Basically, uh, they stay within 10 feet of each other at all times because they figure, all right, well, this is a 2v2 style environment, you know, let's stick together, that, which is a smart way to play. You know, they're like, let's stick together, and, you know, one of us dies, and then uh, the other person will uh, be able to pick them off, hopefully, or something like that. So, so throughout parts of this gameplay, actually, a well, real part coming up, there's about a stretch of two minutes that uh, I find two people in two minutes and it took it was a very long you know monotonous pr uh, part of the gameplay so I said I'm gonna fast forward up keep, keep gameplay fresh keep it fast keep it good keep it so you guys are interested because I definitely don't want to uh, bore you throughout my gameplay and throughout my commentary so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through that part which is kind of funny because I'm actually gonna leave the audio in so you can hear the super speed up noises like beep, 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 it sounds like a bunch of mice <laughs> but uh, okay let's talk about erosion let's talk about the new DLC maps let's talk about this whole bundle, you know, as a whole. So I think face-off maps are awesome. I think it was one of the better ideas that Infinity Ward's had, right? I think it's a great idea. This is something, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing in Black Ops 2 because I think it's that good of an idea. This kind of, this kind of reminds me of like a Halo uh, style thing. You know, Halo is infamous with having so many different game modes and there's you know, so many different things to break the norm of your average gaming experience. You know, it, it um. Oh, look at this fancy shooting. Um, okay, when you're playing Halo, there's so many different game modes. A lot more fun game modes, and that's what um, All for Three is kind of implemented. You know, uh, we got we got um, free for all gunplay. That's pretty fun. That's a, that's a that's a break from the usual. You know, it's I like that. I really do. Then you got infected. You got drop zone. Um, I know there's some more. Well, well, basically in free for all gunplay, that, that's kind of that's kind of an umbrella uh, playlist which covers a bunch of different possible game modes you can go play. And there's also hardcore. Now there's regular. Now we got face off maps as well. Um, we have like mosh pit style game, or playlist now. I love how Call of Duty is actually kind of switching it up. If you think back to, uh, you know, Call of Duty 4 or something, even though Call of Duty 4 is considered like the golden age of COD, you know, the COD 4 and World of War era, uh, basically, you know, th there was, there's, you're kind of limited in game modes you could play, right? I mean, um, one thing I did like about Call of Duty 4, one thing I did like about Call of Duty 4, and I hope they bring back for Black Ops 2 or at least in some new Call of Duty, is old school free for all. I think old school free for all is cool where you start off. With a bit with a bit more health, and you start off um, with the same. Everyone starts off with the same gun. You have to go run around, and pick up the guns off the map. You you can jump a little higher. You have a little bit more health, and it it, it basically makes so you can do a lot of glitches in the game. In the game, uh, COD 4. If you guys <laughs> have you guys played COD 4 on old school mode, there are so many glitches on every map, and it's just so fun to do. I mean, it's real fun to do. I mean, um, even even if let's say for example they don't want to like put um, old school mode in, into the standard multiplayer. They can put it in private match, kind of similar to the way that um, All for Three has third-person mode enabled. You can have it in a private match, but there's obviously no uh, playlist online that you can run around and do a third-person. But it's still in the game. They can do the same thing for old school, kind of you know break the monotony of the game, which I think that's what these two v two playlists are doing. I mean, it's fun. It, it really is fun. It's a completely different approach to the game. I think it's an amazing idea. And then you know, kudos, kudos. Kudos to you, Infinity Ward, and to you, uh, people at Activision, whoever came up with this idea, because this is an awesome. I love it. I love every part of this. I'm having a blast with it. And I want to know if you guys can answer me in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the t like the 2v2 slash 1v1 uh, environment? I haven't really done the 1v1 because uh, judging from these maps, uh, they're I mean, the, while they're small, which granted, all the face-off maps are smaller than you know any other map in the game, like including Dome, uh, but still they're they're still a bit big for a 1v1 style environment for me. Uh, for this particular gameplay, um, well, this particular match, rather, uh, some machine guns kind of dominate this map, which I like, which I like. Um, all the maps, except for a ground, which is a really weird name for a map, right? A ground. Uh, a ground is basically, 
uh, it's a face-off map. And what I mean by face-off map is it's, uh, no pun intended, but it's literally a face-off map where every, well, not every, but just about every engagement you get into uh, on the map of ground is a long-distance firefight. Whereas when you're playing on erosion, like on this map, uh, every firefight's pretty close range. Like the range I'm killing that guy, that's about as far as your engagements are going to be, which I like. Uh, you got this guy up in the window, but we don't even, he doesn't even end up coming out because he scared me. <laughs> and so, you know, the engagements you get into on this map are rather close range, which I like. That suits my style of gameplay. My style of gameplay is, uh, wow, I almost tipped over my keyboard. I'm basically a submachine gun slash shotgun player. Uh, very rarely will I be like, hiding back in the assault rifle, depending, you know, if it's a big map, then yeah. But a lot of times I prefer to be, you know, doing game kill cams like this, you know, running gunning with a submachine gun, having fun that way. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the 2v2 face-off maps and the 1v1 face-off maps. You know, do you guys think uh, they're a good addition to the game? Do you think they're kind of a bleh addition to the game? Let me know. Uh, final score 19 2, by the way. Now it's time for the post roll. Time for the post roll here on my channel. So here are my two most recent videos on the left hand side of your screen is uh, one of the face-off maps lookout, which raid one through five, probably my third favorite new map. On the right hand side of your screen is Getaway, which would be my number one map of the new face-off maps. These are both face-off videos, so left and right, click where you feel like clicking. They're both face-off maps. I think you'll enjoy both of them. You're out here, like my gameplay commentary, way I talk, things I talk about, way I do my stuff. You can go ahead and click subscribe, which is right there on your screen. There's a link in the description. Follow me on Twitter. And on the bottom right hand side of your screen, guys, is the mystery box, which seriously, anything can be in the mystery box. So click where you guys feel like clicking. It's going to open up a new tab for you. Uh, that way, you can, you know, multiple things to interest you. You can click whatever. Uh, remember to like the video and sincerely hope you guys all have a wonderful day and remember to let me know in the comments what you guys think about the map erosion I think it's pretty sweet